Alrighty, B Stab Fishing Nation. Let's do a little uh, page right out of Jiggin' Jerks and John Halkius' book. Oh, maybe I'll get on the side of the road. Let's do a little checking out boats on the side of the road. Oh, look at this. Yeah, buddy. A little whaler. Alright, let's check this puppy out. In fact, we might look at all three of these. One, two, three. Well, we're definitely going to check out this whaler. And we're in the parking lot here at J&J &J Marine, up right New Jersey, 856-228-4744. Alright, let's check this one out. Alright, not a bad little boat. I don't know about the price, but it's got a magic, magic tilt trailer. Looks like a brand new strap on here. Strap's in good shape. Somebody definitely took their time putting some decent rollers on here. Make sure you don't scuff the boat up. How many times we see our boats jammed up here in the, uh, the top of the winch. Decent spare tire, decent rim. Somebody took care of this boat. Boat's registered uh, through this month, August of 2024. It's a 2017 Boston Whaler. I'm assuming this thing's somewhere around, like, I don't know. 15, 17 foot, 17, 18 foot rather, 16, five. We got good rubber all around. Bimini top. Evan Root E-Tech. I know some guys don't like these motors. I have a 150 on the back of my boat and I'll tell you what, it runs like a rape tape. It's a bad motor scooter. When everything's, everything's good in the world, that thing runs well. Uh, looks like we have an aluminum prop. I would definitely change that out, but got a uh, ski ladder. 2017 motor, definitely a 2000. Uh, what are we looking at here? 2015? Or is that an 04 boat? Let me see here. What do we got going on? They're saying it's a 2017, huh? Hmm. Tell me if I'm wrong. That's the, the whole identification number. And it ends in an 04. I'm not seeing anything over there that says 2017. It's a 2017 motor, not boat. That's a little deceiving. Guys, this thing's in great shape. Trailer's in good shape. I don't know, don't know what size the motor is. I'm gonna say for a boat of this size, it's probably a 90 horsepower. Figure I'm a 150, 150. That's either a 90 or maybe a 115. Let's see if it says on here. Ninety. Model E90. Yep, it's a 90 horsepower. I should move this thing along pretty good. I'm not going to step up in it. It's not my boat, but we got two cooler holders in the back. Looks like we've got a bilge pump. Bilge pump with a float. Good fuel and water. Fuel and water separator. Stainless steel rail. Stainless steel cleats. Four rod holders in the back. That's a decent sized gas tank. I'm going to say that's, I don't know, better part of 10 gallons, maybe 15. Guys, dual battery setup in the, down below. Let's see what we got. Let's zoom in. Dual battery setup. Guys, check out. The uh, steering wheel, the home station here, not a touch, not a touch of rust anywhere on that. Actually, even the bow rail, the bow rail's in great shape. Seats are in great shape. Looks like we have uh, pads. I've seen stainless steel snaps. Looks like we have pads for the seat. Electronics. Richie Compass, 
See what kind of electronics we have. Does it say? And it doesn't say. Well, it definitely comes with electronics. We got some well, forward seating. That that comes up. That'll flip up. You can step through. Got cup holders all around. Pretty good size anchor locker. Again, this stainless steel is in great shape. Really, really good shape. Everything about this, even these, these little clips here for the Bimini top, all in great shape. Stainless steel hardware, great shape. Clean, I'm not seeing any cracks. This boat's been definitely taken care of. Definitely taken care of. Rub rail in good shape. Hardly any scuffs. Not bad, if you're interested. j, &J Marine, Deptford, New Jersey, 856-228-4744. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I think this is a pretty nice boat. 16,000, I don't know, is that fair? It's a 2017 motor, the boat's an 04. Pretty sure the boat's an 04 but the boat is in immaculate shape. So, worth it? 16,000? I might ask you all for 14, go from there. I'm not looking to buy a new boat, but I'm just saying if I was. Oh, that's the new B-Stav addition to the fleet. She's pretty. All right, let's look at another boat. All right, guys, looks like we got us a beast of a pro line. Tandem axle, Tidewater trailer, rollers. Uh, looks like she needs a new jack stand, but we're looking at good, uh, good rubber. So far, good rubber all around. Um, surge brakes. Always got to check them to see if they're working, especially on an older boat. She is reg. Oh, she has not been registered since 2021. 2021. Who knows how long this thing's been sitting? Nineteen thousand five hundred dollars. I'm not sure how big this thing is. She's a bit of a beast. Uh, stainless steel prop. Is that a Merc? Uh, somebody went. Uh, somebody went stealth on this thing here. What are we looking at here? Is that, doesn't say. I'm going to say that's at least. At least a 150, most likely a 200. Not sure. Most likely a Merc. Uh, do I dare to try and step up in here? Ah, uh, we got a cracked fender here. Definitely need some TLC. I'm gonna say this thing here is about 21 foot. Let's see what year we're looking at. Looking at an. 07 so you're probably dealing with an 07 boat as well or motor as well fuel and water separator quicksilver that's mercury definitely a mercury boat can we look inside let's see hold on holy scamoles well this boat's been sitting here guys and uh it's pretty obvious listen it's dirt it's nothing a pressure washer wouldn't uh wouldn't knock out I really don't think I should be stepping up here and checking it out, although I may, although I may also break an arm. But, looks like you got rocket launchers off the back seat here. I can't tell 100%. Seats in the back. Looks like they took the cushions out. They slide in. You see, they'll slide in there. So you got, probably got your battery boxes in the back here. Plenty of cup holders. Two rod holders in the back here on the gunnels. Additional rod holders added on the uh, on the rails. VHF. I saw a transducer, so you're probably looking at probably looking at a uh, basic depth finder, fish finder, GPS, some stores, little stores lock, locker there. Let me see if I could actually get up in this thing. All right, guys, I kind of hopped up here. I'm not going to walk on board. I just don't think it's the right thing to do. But that's all new canvas. That canvas is all, 
all new and in really, really good shape. I almost want to get up there and pull that the canvas down over top of the controls there, the throttle and the, uh, the steering wheel. High rail, so I imagine it's got a high windshield on it. I'm sure, there's some storage up there. We've got three rod holders or uh, broom and gaff holders on either side of the gunnels. You just need to replace the elastic. Uh, elastic bands that'll hold it in looks like it has some type of bimini a top to it not sure i would leave that on i don't I'm not a big fan of biminis but guys i'll tell you what a little bit of tlc like I mean, it, it's dirty right so we're looking here that's dirty but that's dirt that's nothing that can't be cleaned up a little bit of tlc you stop in and talk to the folks here at j and j marine 856-228-4744 I'm sure they'll be able to tell you all about it. It's got their sticker on the back. I'm sure they're the ones that have been taking care of this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is anyway, this is about 20, 21 foot, give or take. But six rod holders, three on each side in the gunnels. And uh, all you need to do there again, clean them up. Now the gaskets, looks like the rings or the gaskets are missing. Um, so you might want to see if you could find something you could pop in inside of those, right? Inside there so you don't go jacking up your rods because uh, you lay your rod in there on bare fiberglass. It's going to definitely jack your rod up. It's going to scar your rod. But all you got to do is replace the elastic or the uh, elastic. Come on now. The bungee straps and bungee cords and you're fine. You're fine. A little bit of TLC, guys. It looks like that's all this boat needs is a little bit of TLC. Brand new canvas covers on the seat. Brand new, can new canvas covers on the center console, the helm station, VHF radio. Close to twenty grand, nineteen nineteen thousand. I'd come in off from fifteen and see where they go from there. All right, guys. What the what the f? Where's the fish? Pretty much been my my season. Where's the fish? Um, I got to try and get off this boat now. So this should be a good time. Hopefully I don't fall on my rear end. But I'm going to do a quick overview, quick, uh, quick view of J&J's lot here. They have a ton of boats. They got a lot of older boats here. They've been here for decades upon decades. And um, you stop in, see what they say. definitely got some room and definitely got some boats all right guys I'll tell you right now I me mean, personally out of the two I would go 100% for that Boston Whaler 100% on that Boston Whaler is a great looking boat definitely a great looking boat I uh, I would I would not would not mess around with that pro line i just think maybe it's been sitting too long but if you talk to the people uh over j and j you see what they say give them a shout guy just pulled in all he had to do was go around the other side of me pulls in and almost hits me thanks pal Beastat fishing nation just a little side note i am in no way affiliated with j and j marine i know they've been around for decades and they have a very, very good reputation, at least as far as I've always been told. So give them a shout. Check out both of those boats. I didn't do a uh, workup or review of that middle boat because honestly, I just wasn't interested. Like, subscribe, say your prayers to the man upstairs. Go shopping for a boat. And once you do, get out there and go fishing.